and welcome to my channel. So today we're doing part five of our busy buddy colour along. I think that's what I call it. I can't even remember my own hashtag. Uh, but basically we're colouring in the Colouring Heaven Busy World Special issue 64 and we're doing this page. Um, if you've not seen the previous parts to this series, I'll put a little clicky link up in the top and then that takes you to a playlist to all the previous parts that has got us this far. So let's get going. Now, thankfully, because I can, I had no idea what this was. I kept thinking it was like some sort of ghoulish Halloween mask with like these are the eyes and that's the mouth. But it's not, it's a woman in my bath. So um, thank you to, I had a couple of people, a couple of my subscribers point out what she was. And afterwards I was like, oh, duh. So yeah, so we're going to celebrate by doing her first. So let's start with, now we're doing these in the skin tone. So that's the light skin. I'll just do because these are her legs. And then this is the upper body of the, of the woman. Okay. Is that a foot? It looks like her foot sticking out. It is now. So we'll just go with that. And then we've been using ice blue for water so we'll stick with that and we'll just fill that in I hope the lighting is okay it is a miserable day here today completely just gloomy quite depressing really to think like t around two weeks ago it was like 36 degrees it's also turned really cold so it's like 16 degrees virtually it's, it's crazy weather right and then um, I think we'll give because uh, this is a little sailboat so we'll give him a nice red sail so that's the scarlet red Do our boat in something that'll stand out a bit from the water. Well, let's do lilac. Be a lilac boat because it's going to go grey. So it's so small it doesn't really matter. So yeah, lilac. Okay, so we'll come back and decide what to do about the rest of the bathtub afterwards let's get cracking into some of the other things that i've been looking at now i had a look at this thing in here in this cake i don't know what it is if it's a mouse family or something i think maybe if someone's got the full size of this image in the book because in the original book this is like actually a double page spread so everything is bigger but i think just because it's been reduced down i even got i got a magnifying glass out to study it no clue so we're just gonna make this what should we make it? What are we using? We'll do something. What's this? Terracotta, which is like a gingery brown. We'll just pretend he's like, I don't know, a little mouse family. It doesn't really matter. But I just don't want to forget that he's in there. So I think that's that panel done now. So that was Terracotta, 186. And we'll go across. So I've been thinking a little bit about this part of the picture. So we've got our aeroplane here. This is obviously he's flying and there's some birds there. So we'll do that in, I think, we'll do that in our light indigo because we've used that for a lot of our skies. Um, and he, this is like a, a mini scene inside the bigger scene. wanted to say I'm so happy that so many people have been doing this colour along and words as well hearing people say that they was too intimidated to start the picture until they saw this and it like gave them the not 
courage but you know it just gave that like a final push to actually give something like this a go which they might not have tried by themselves even if they've not followed the color along they've sort of just joined in and completed the picture themselves oh, it just makes me so happy and um okay so that was the light indigo i think we'll go back to making him a red plane but um yeah what was i saying oh yeah so i'm super happy about this and I know that I've not been the fastest at uploading the different parts to this. I confess it's because when I started, I didn't actually expect anybody to be taking part. Well, at least I did eventually, because I'm not that much of a pessimist. But I thought, you know, it would be it would take a couple of months for my channel to get bigger and a couple of months for this to start showing up in feeds and, you know, coincide with someone wanting to colour it. So when I had like more than several people, even after the very first Scarlet, even after the very first part gone up, was amazing. But also I was completely unprepared, completely unprepared. <laughs> right, we're going to do this uh, Woodlouse thing. Um, I'm going to do this in green gold. Um, so yeah, I was. I, I swear, I promise, for the f next one. I've already got in mind what I'm going to be doing for my next one and uh, it's going to be another picture that maybe people might feel intimidated to do it's, I, well I don't think it's particularly hard but it's a little bit big and it's, it's a pretty picture um, it's a Johanna Bassford one a, that's the only clue you're going to get for now and it's from Enchanted Forest alright I'll lie there's two, two clues you're going to get but I think I'm going to do Enchanted Forest picture. And if there's a picture in there that you're intimidated by, then chances are it might be that picture I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But for that, so that was green gold. For that, um, obviously, I'm going to tackle how I approach. This is the ivory. I'm going to tackle how I do the next colour along differently I'm going to record everything in advance in fact I'm not gonna only gonna edit uh, color you know color the picture and film it I'm gonna edit it as well because to be honest it's not filming that's been the problem the editing oh my god who knew it could be such a headache and I know I'll make a bit of a rod for my own back because I'm like I like to have the names of the colors that I'm using and I like to fade the music in and out you know when I'm talking it the music goes quieter and then when I'm just quietly plodding along I kind of up the music volume so that you're not all listening to me like heavy breathing down the camera <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, oh, I threw myself there so yeah, I completely underestimated what a burden editing would be. It's a pain in the backside, to be honest. Right, back to the light indigo, because we've got another sky here. Let's do this. They're outside. Um, and it just takes so long. It takes... I'm, it's not even, you know, if I have a 40, 45 minute long video, like, it takes me easily six five or six hours to edit because also you have to take into account that you think I'm slow doing this uh, you should see the bits I edit out where I'm just sitting here going um, what should I do next um, and I mean I do that a bit anyway it's still in the end videos so you can imagine what I'm like when I'm just sitting there for 30 seconds like staring blankly at the page Okay, let's do, what should we do? We've got a little birdie here. Let's make him, what should we make him? Let's make him, what colour do we like? Apart from green gold, because I can't use that all the time. Let's use the cinnamon and make him a little, he shouldn't be so brown, because this comes across as brown. But that's because of the grey scale. I mean, it is brown, but it's a lighter brown. So we'll just... 
so hopefully he won't be too brown. Oh, he's quite brown. Take it back. Cinnamon, and we'll get the ivory out because that's one of my favourites for doing backgrounds. But yeah, the editing, all oh my days. All oh my days. So I'll fix that for future. And then, because, you know, it's stressed me out. Not stressed, but I've been very conscious that I'm holding everybody up. Um, and I don't like that, it, you know, just, I feel bad. Now, I looked at this under the mi microscope, under the uh, magnifying glass as well. These are actually tennis balls. So we'll just do half and half of the green. And then I don't know if it'll notice, but we'll know. But this is the May green. So that's the light green. And then we'll do the other half in the May green, which is ever so fractionally darker. But that should help make them, you know, stand out a bit different. So that was May green. Yes, okay. Right then, let's do something that requires some thought. If we do some of these books in here, then we can finish this panel, which is a good thing. So let's, we've got a red and a brown. Well, let's get, we've got the May green handy. Let's make it, give us a green book. We'll do this big one here in green. It's quite a dark grayscale, so it won't show up too much and we'll do another one in green that's a bit lighter while we've got that here I think we'll do one of these books in green and where else have we got books oh, that's done lilac um, books it looks like it is we're getting we've been filling in a book here and there and uh, we're gradually getting there and then we'll make something I'm not sure how what this will just do no because the stairs are yellow let's do what's this oh this is that flalo flalo green so we'll just do that hardly see it again because of the grey scale but we'll do both books in this the, the small one and the bigger one yeah. I can't tell that oh yeah we coloured that in green but you can't actually see that I'm gonna I'm just gonna go over that one just to make it a bit darker And then we've got some book labels, so we'll do those in ivory because we've been doing all the paper. I, I've done that one before in ivory, but I'm just going over again. We do all our paper in ivory. Okay, so that's another panel done. Let's look at, well, still using the ivory. We've got these book labels. that done and we've got a window here that oh but he's that's got a yellow background so maybe we'll go I'll think about that maybe I'll do that in the dark chrome it's a bit darker we'll do these yellow windows here they've got a big big fire going on inside and it's nice and bright All right so that was dark chrome yellow Okay, what next? What can we do next? Let's colour in our other book. Let's make that book. Mm, don't want it red because I've got red curtains. We'll get that lilac out again. Okay, book done. 
Okay, let's do this because this is nice and easy. This is like a cliff face. So we'll do this in the same colour as we did these rocky paths, which if I recall, we did in cinnamon, I think, I hope. That's what I'm doing it in now. So it's cinnamon. And we'll just, I notice it's got, it looks like it's tufty up top, so it's got a bit of grass up there. I'm just gonna flick it down where it meets the water so that we still got a soft edge to dab. So we had a bit of grass on the top there, so we'll just we're just going to flick that up. This is the may green. I probably should have used light green because it's quite dark up there, but there's not much difference between those two greens. I'm splitting hairs over details that don't matter, right? So that's that, and then we will get some blue sky in there. And where we've been flicking up with the grass, we'll just flick down with the blue for where it meets the grass, and then it it means we keep our soft edge. Okay, shall we? What did I say? Light ended over that. Right, that's good. We've got another square done. Let's think. Let's do a background. Let's do um now I don't I'm tired of using blue and I don't want to make it yellow ivory. I could make it ivory. Tell you what, while I make up my mind, I'm gonna do this little caterpillar lilac, because we've been doing lilac caterpillar caterpillars. And he's there. And to dodge another bullet, this is a parcel, I think, or a present. But we'll do it in red, as if it's a present. So that's scarlet red. There's a little string tie, so we'll try and keep it away from that. And then we can colour in the string. I know it's a tiny detail. You could ignore the, the string if you wanted, because it's super tiny. Um, but I am going to do it in the dark chrome yellow. Okay, no, let's not do medium skin. I know it's a bit lame, but we'll fall back on the ivory because it is a nice, safe, neutral colour. And it's a larger area, so, and it doesn't seem to streak too badly on this colour, maybe because it's so light. There's some fairy hair there. We won't colour in that. Not with yellow and ivory anyway.
do the hair. It's only small, but we'll do it in cinnamon. She's a dark haired. I guess it could be he. Could be a little cherub fairy. There's his brown hair. We have our two cats. Let's colour them in. Shall we make them? Well, we'll do them the cinnamon as well. Well, we'll do one cinnamon. do another what color can we have for a cat because he's a smaller one Oops. really they're only little blobs anyway does he even look like a cat anymore I'm not sure if it does Oh, we're rocketing through these uh, squares today. So let's, we'll use, because we'll think of that as being sort of like their gold, um, like a metal around this case. So we'll use this dark chrome yellow. and we'll use that for the shower fitting as well okay and as we're doing bathroom fittings we'll do her taps in that she's very posh she's got gold taps okay um, we'll do some, this wallpaper and we'll make this wallpaper let's go wild why not let's do this in the lilac There is a pattern on this wallpaper, but I'm not going to attempt it. It's so small, hard to see as it is. So, so, do you know, I'm gonna, I know I've made them windows yellow, but I'm just going to make them darker yellow with the dark, uh, what's this, dark chrome yellow. We just used ivory before, but we're going to make them darker because I think I'm going to make the house yellow. Just the front there. And the chimney. And then we'll... We'll use uh, green gold for the roof. And I think we're going to pretend it's on a little bit of a lawn. So we'll get our light green. And we'll just fill in this little bottom bit here with green. Okay. Oh, and we've, he's got a door. Let's... Well, it's a wooden door, so we'll do that in um, green gold as well. Square done. You know, I was going to do that as underwater, but I'm wondering now if I might do it a bit like our lily pads. That could be like underwater. Shall I? Yeah. So we'll do that in the ice blue, which is what we've been using for water. Just 
just flipping it up. These roots. Above ground, and I don't want him to have blue sky. But we'll make it night time. I've got a nice, a nice darker blue which we haven't used. So I've got ultramarine. Right, so I've got ultramarine, which is a bit of a darker blue, according to my swatch book, anyway. So we're just going to do this. some dark colours here because we've got a lot of piles going on um, and whilst the grayscale does darken it up it'd be nice to get something in with a bit of contrast Okay, so that was Ultramarine 120. Dark Chrome again, we'll do this because we pretended that was the gold fittings on this uh, suitcase, so we'll do the same here. think I need to maybe get the magnifying glass out on these small details see what some of these things are in here I don't know what that is so yeah be right back okay so this is just a bug this is like a little I think curled up wood louse thing that is a jaggedy thing which I think is a spider which would probably be clearer on the bigger version this is another ladybird that's just, uh, who knows what that is. It's just a round blob. So another, we're just gonna do them all as bugs, basically. So let's get out the scarlet red for, we'll do the ladybird, cause that's nice and easy. And then we'll do, what color shall we have at? A spider. Well, let's do the background in this ivory just so that it's not grey and um, we'll do he'll have to be something bright they all need to be something bright don't they to stand out we have a red spider we could do chrome orange dark no cr dark chrome yellow let's do it he's a dangerous spider he's just a blob anyway to be honest so let's do that and he's like I say one of those little woodlouse things so we'll use a it doesn't really matter what we color these in they're so small and quite dark I mean that doesn't look that different from the spider let's do that in that as well he's big enough to see why not we'll just do that and then we'll do this fly's body in like he's a blue bottle type thing so we'll get out that ultramarine we'll make him blue I'm just gonna dab him and he's on the floorboards so where's that ivory we'll do the ivory floorboards as well just do all this back all these backgrounds in in this ivory honestly the grayscale, I've done that one, haven't I? The grayscale is so dark you can barely see it. It's just so that it's not showing as grey. Right. So that's those. I think we'll get the black out and just fill in this little um, section here because that doesn't appear to be anything. We'll just fill it in. Uh, 
and we will make these eyeballs dark chrome yellow so they'll stand out a bit okay so we've done some of those that's what else do we need to think about let's do some of these bottles so we'll use that light indigo because that's what we use for that bottle and we'll use it for this one as well because this is going to go quite dark it's grayscale that one as well in blue because that's got no grayscale on so even though we're using the same color it actually looks a different color because there's no grayscale to darken it and then I think we'll use what can we have inside there let's make this one at the back red I think use that hope oh, no the ultramarine again let's go bold we need it in more than one place just have that in through there and fill in these gaps around here ultramarine and we have the ivory just to do the stoppers and then we'll do a background let's do the lilac again people here they have no taste in wallpaper right so what should we do now right we've got more eyeballs let's do all these eyeballs yellow well dark chrome yellow chrome yellow and then we'll use our light indigo which is what we've been using for glass bottles and, and stuff we'll just go over that so what have we got in the background here they actually look like leaves don't they so it's a bit jungly so where's our we'll use our may green we've been using light green for those leaves We'll use May Green for this, which is slightly darker and the heavy grey scale, so it's going to make it a. Yeah, you can see it's just a different jungly dark green. background on this clock so I'll do this in the ultramarine I think I'll do this in dark colors
colours take because this does streak a bit more than light colours do. This is like a tree house, so it's kind of outside, but I don't want everything to be light blue. I think, is that showing through? We'll make, sure, we'll make those gaps there showing through the tree house, but it's at night. chrome yellow so we'll just do that to make the roof stand out a little bit brighter on the edge and anything else we'll just use that I don't know what that is just a beam maybe but we'll make it a different color okay so that's another panel done We're getting through them today what should we put this clown in? So we can't use the yellow and we can't use the lilac. So we will have to use one of the blues. Let's use ice blue. We've been using the um, indigo for a lot of backgrounds, but we can do it in ice blue. this ultramarine a bit more in the picture because we've only got it in a couple of places at the moment and I want to get something over on this side but not on that blue sky we'll give them a blue front door to my car incident that's just above as well right so we'll just just do that everything will be okay right anything else blue I can do background for this ladybug. Actually we're gonna make maybe a bit yellow on his legs. Doesn't matter what we've gone over because the dark blue is gonna cover this.
right. Okay. What have we got? We're starting to run out of things to do. Now, maybe I've got to decide, do I want to make this an apple or an orange? I think I kind of make it, want to make him an orange. Shall we do it as well in that orange glaze? Because we've only used that on the beehive and it'd be good to get some more colour in there. So let's do that. It's so, alright, we'll be going over the border with the wood. that ultramarine again because blue always goes really nicely with orange they complement each other as colors so we'll use that ultramarine there's the background there skin for our little maggot that guy there we go. another one done okay that's right well we're obviously gonna do the let's do make some decisions about this so we'll do because we've used ice blue on the water, I will make sure I use I, mm, light indigo in this one. Now this is tough because uh, we've got a mountain fading out into white, and this is which is why I've put off doing this because it's obviously very hazy. And I think I think how I'm going to do it. Okay, let's just because we can't actually see the top of the mountain. It comes up to here. I think it stops around there. So we're just gonna, we'll do the top here because we're using such a faint color. pencil afterwards to come in to um, just bring in some shading behind this waterfall so that it stands out from each other and then I guess we should go for we'll get a light green Okay, so this is the May green, and I'm just going to dab around the top here because I just that's a bit darker, and that's going to help separate the two greens. Because we're just 
gonna bring that up. like it should be going into a snow top mountain. How do we do snow when we can't use white? Well I'll use a little we'll flick up a little bit of ivory. I don't know, it might sound crazy. It might not work. Oh no, let's do and then we'll just use this warm grey. we can hope for from this because you can't actually see the top of the mountain you might just um, fix that with a bit of gel pen and we'll make it snowy at the moment that's our we'll pretend it's a volcano it's a bit darker up there okay so what else what else can we do get my ultramarine again and we're going to give this blue pen that our octopus is holding. And we'll use the orange glaze just to make it a different orange from the octopus. But that gives it a little nib. Okay. Ivory. Let's do our headlights. We'll use that warm grey the, over the tyres. Do I want to make the bumper yellow as well? Yeah. So we'll use the ivory on that as well. got perhaps we'll decide what to color these little men in because we've got a few here as well we'll do them where's my lilac gone they're in little ceremonial robes that happy to be lilac but lilac does work quite nicely with yellow we have our ivory path funny little blobby men no so let's we'll make that a nice golden pagoda so we'll use the dark chrome yellow just to do that all right so what have we got I think that's a sh like a shelf or something I don't know it is now. Let's make that the green gold. I have no idea what this is. Like a bracket. And we will use the dark chrome yellow just to do this. We've got this bolt. I don't know what that is. It makes me think of the the thinking bubbles that we got there. So let's do these things in ivory. Let's see. Got some sky up here to do. We'll do that in the light indigo. Just 
dabbing it around our tree edges. ivory for the little chimney even though you can barely see it and we'll use red scarlet red give them a little red canopy and a little red boat which matches our red boat down here so oh is that a flag we'll give them a little red flag as well plant pot what do we use for that let's use well let's do it by name we'll use terracotta seems like it should fit day but we've done really well we've finished another bunch of panels today which means probably the next time will be our last last session or possibly like the last with the pens it might depends how long the pencil work take me so I'm gonna do that in ice blue this is the sky again Can't make them. I think there's a bunny or a long haired, long eared dog. If there's a bunny, we could make it pink. Should we make it a bunny? Dab it in amongst these tree edges. Okay, let's do our pink pink rabbit and then we'll call it a day. So what have we been using for our flowers? Medium flesh, so oh is that too dark? That's a bit too dark, isn't it? Let's use let's use light flesh. She doesn't look very pink. She looks more beige. Oh well. And we'll do our teacup in the light indigo because that's what we used for our, our big cup at the bottom here as well. And we'll do that. And I think that's what all we'll do. Right. Think that is where we're going to stop so thank you so much for watching if you're still here of course i could just be talking to myself if you are still here i would really appreciate a thumbs up of course you know this by now if you've been watching my videos i'm always begging for thumbs up thumbs up the video it helps the channel and obviously if you're not subscribed then hit the button below and if you hit the bell then you get a notification of any time i upload new videos so thank you so much for watching i hope you're enjoying it still i am I'm, I'm really enjoying this um this picture uh yeah so take care see you again soon and goodbye for now see you for part whoa six ah okay bye for now bye